we're going to share five of the most beautiful beaches on the French Riviera with you today. There are many more that are really nice, but these are our favorites. Plage de la Mala, Petite Afrique, Plage des Ondes, the islands of Cannes, and the Pointe de l'Aiguille. You get to see some lesser known, but no less awesome beaches another time. This is without a doubt one of the most impressive beaches on the Côte d'Azur. Plage de la Mala, located in the little town of Cap d'Ai, between Monaco and Nice, is nestled in a small bay surrounded by cliffs dropping vertically into the Turquoise Sea. There are public and private beach areas, so it's up to you to choose your favorite spot. We like the part at the far end right below the huge cliff a lot. No matter where you decide to place your parasol, in front of you stretches the mostly calm sea and a great view of Cap Ferrat. Two restaurants, Eden Plage in black and La Réserve de la Mala in white, serve food and drinks at fair prices, comparable to other beach restaurants on the French Riviera. For instance, a risotto with prawns for 28 euros or a black garlic burger for 29 euros. Don't forget to bring shoes for the water, as the small pebbles are quite tough to walk on, even if it might not look like it. Showers are available as well as a public restroom. The small bay is quite secluded, which is part of its great charm. The railway passes right behind the beach, but other than that you're far away from traffic and the noise of the coast. To get to the beach, you park your car in the roads above which can be a challenge in summer. Expect to walk around 15 minutes to get all the way down to the sea. When you arrive at this signpost, the shortest way to the beach is to the right. Don't be surprised, there are more than a hundred steps. Or you can take the coastal path that starts at the port of Cap d'Ai and ends here. If you take the train, which is a great idea, get off at Cap d'Ai. You can either take the coastal path or walk through the streets. Both ways will take about 20 minutes. Welcome to the next paradise, the beach called Petite Afrique, Little Africa, in the small coastal town called Beaulieu-sur-Mer. Behind you rises a huge rock wall, while in front of you, this beautiful beach gently slides into the sea. There are two private beaches, but most of this small bay is open to the public. You can find your spot close to the water and enjoy the amazing view of the sea. Or towards the back. There are quite a few trees at this beach, which is a nice feature because you have some shade without even needing your parasol, if you're lucky. This beach, once again, is much more fun if you bring water shoes, because there are many smaller and larger pebbles on the ground. There's a water sports center where you can rent paddle boards and jet skis, and you can go water skiing or wakeboarding. Also, you'll find a beach volleyball court, free to use, and even a playground for kids, which is really exceptional on the French Riviera. The beach provides showers and a public restroom. A pretty large parking lot is right between the port of Beaulieu-sur-Mer, where you can find a few restaurants by the way, and the beach. In summer it's still wise to arrive early. If you take the train, you walk for about 15 minutes to jump into the sea. This is Plage des Ondes, one of our favorite beaches. What makes this narrow strip one of our top five? Well, just take in the scenery at Plage des Ondes, the small bay with this little round tower that you can climb, the view towards Cannes, its islands, and the Esterel Mountains way back there, and the pine trees that line the road behind you. 
True, there is the road, but there isn't all that much traffic since you're way out on the Cape of Antibes. And just getting here from the Jouan les Pins side of town is a feast for the eyes. We've been coming to this sweet little spot for years with our kids growing up. And what's always seduced us is the incredibly clear water. It's almost like being in an aquarium. You can observe the underwater life even without a snorkel and mask. Since there isn't really any shade, don't forget to pack a parasol. But there are, on the other hand, showers and public restrooms. Something special is to come here in the evening for the sunset. If you are into pizza, you can even order one from here. They, they deliver pizza here to the Plage des Andes. Parking, as you can guess, can be a bit tricky. You could also get here by bike or even walk from Jean les Pins, but most people take the car. You'll have to look for a parking spot in the small side streets nearby. Drop off your passengers at the beach and go hunting. Early mornings and late afternoons are the best times to quickly find a spot. Our next tip is for you if you're into wild nature, snorkeling and cliff diving. Or if you just want to experience a day away from the hustle and bustle of the coast. We're on the small island of Sainte Marguerite, which is part of the city of Cannes. And here, as well as on the neighboring, even smaller island called Ile Sainte Honora, you'll find lots of tiny beaches all along the coastline. Be prepared to do some walking before you find the perfect spot for you. The little coves are rather rocky, so be sure to bring water shoes to get in and out of the water better. Check out the beautiful clear sea and don't forget your snorkeling equipment. There's this special underwater project by a British artist made of six huge sculptures that form artificial reefs and therefore habitats for sea life. You'll find the masks at around 80 to 130 meters from the shore, at a depth of 3 to 5 meters within the circle of yellow buoys that prevent boats from entering this zone. What's cool about this special place is you can even jump off the cliffs. There's this spot opposite the other island, east of the snorkeling area, where you'll find these cliffs. Teenagers like to come here and test their limits. By the way, another cool fact about the islands is that you can bring your dog year-round at no extra fee. To get to Sainte Marguerite or Sainte Honora, you take a boat at Kelo Boeuf in Cannes. The trip takes about 15 minutes and costs less than 20 euros per person. Or you rent a kayak and cross the sea on your own. beach for today is another one of our absolute favorites. Promise us not to miss this spot at the far end of Théoult-sur-Mer, called Pointe de l'Aiguille. It's a Friday in early June and there's actually hardly anybody here. Look at that! When you get here, you'll feel like you're in a different world. Gone is the noise from traffic. You're literally surrounded by nothing but nature in all its colorful glory. The clear blue sea, red cliffs, and green trees and bushes. But we love this beach especially for its incredible underwater world. It's going to be difficult to find a better place for snorkeling on the Côte d'Azur. So bring your equipment and let's dive in. There's an underwater discovery trail marked by four yellow boys. Close to the shore, in the rocky parts at the end of the bay, you can also find crabs, sea urchins and starfish. Not only kids have a blast on this beach. Of course, if you prefer to relax outside the water, 
There are several restaurants and cafes on the beach and along the way to this far-flung area. Speaking of remote, you have to walk a bit to reach this gorgeous place. Either you get here from high above, or you walk along the coast from the town center. If you arrive by train, expect to march for 20 minutes. It's hard to imagine, but if you continue going westwards, in the direction of Saint-Tropez and beyond, the beaches get even prettier and more sandy too. We'll try to get there for you as soon as possible.